Hi, this is Hybridge Motor Homes Devon Branch on a very mild and lovely late February 2024 day. It feels like spring has sprung, no doubt it'll be snowing again tomorrow like it was a few days ago. Um, but as it is, it's very nice down in South Devon and we're doing a video on this freshly returned to us very, very nice Swift Escape 686 from 2014. So this is a van that we've sold before, most of our stock here to be fair, we've sold before, um, which I think says hopefully says good things about us people are good enough to give us their business multiple times and uh, this is a great simple good looking family van so it's a six berth six seat belt three and a half ton in lounge model that's not too big it's about seven meters so it's from swift britain's biggest uh, motorhome and caravan manufacturer let's have a little look at the window sheet there so she's a swift escape it's actually a swift lifestyle which was a dealer special upgraded version of the escape 686 Six berth, six seat belt, three and a half ton for your license. There's not that many six berth, six seat belt, three and a half ton vans out there. Based on the Fiat Ducato, which is bomb proof reliable, that's why most motor homes are based on it. They're a perfect van for the job. It's only done 16,000 miles from new. It's 10 years, 16,000 miles. Which, to be fair, in the UK, you can have a lot of trips in 1,000 miles. It's just if you go abroad, which this van probably hasn't. You can going to be clocking up a few more so it's under seven meters keeps it in the cheaper ferry bracket and easier to park it's 2.24 wide which is 10 centimeters narrower than a lot of the competition 2.92 tall because it's got the over cab bed and price is 41.95 which is competitive for one of these in the marketplace today so the lifestyle was um, a dealer special as they called it like we did our coastline marcus did their lifestyle and that just added a few little extra bells and whistles like dual fuel heating it added the gray cab as well which i think makes it a nicer looking van so it's got the iron grey metallic cab, uh, 15 inch wheels, electrically adjustable heated door mirrors um, with they've got these protective casings, Malenko mirror guard casings to protect them so the original mirrors underneath are there. It's got the wind out awning, there's not a lot you'd have to add to this, it's sort of fully loaded as it is so you've got wind out awning, double glazed windows all the way around for heat retention and stop condensation. Three-way domestic fridge freezer, a gas locker for two gas bottles. Uh, I think that's an electric step. Hold on to that. Yeah, it is an electric step. Fresh water fill-up points. You've got an internal fresh water tank, um, which will stop it from freezing up. On the back is a three-bike, two-lay bike rack and a reversing camera, which is great. Makes it easier for backing up. And condition is, is very, very good. There's no sort of bodywork damage uh, that I've seen on this one. If I see anything as I'm going around, I will point it out. But no, it all looks fine to me. So there's a flue here for your Truma gas or mains electric powered hot water system and then you've got a separate fireplace with blown air which also runs off gas or mains electric um, for, your, um, uh, for your heating. Main hook up and leisure batteries behind there, set for cassette toilet locker and your front lounge window. So it's got an end lounge and a front dinette for dining and for seatbelt travelling seats. Have a look at the cab, so it's the Euro 5 cab. You got height adjustable cab seats, you got the all black dash which is very modern, um, a DAB maybe stereo system, I think it's a Bluetooth stereo system because you've got the steering wheel controls for it, I've got the same in my van but I actually updated it into an Apple CarPlay one for relatively little money. Uh, mirror mounted reversing camera monitor, you've got a cab concertina blind for darkening the windscreen and then the side's got push on um, insulating screens basically now let's jump inside so this will come with a new MOT and major engine service we'll do the cam belt if it's within a year and needing doing full habitation service and our own in-house bomb proof 12 month warranty so opening up the door you've got a fly screen door isn't it electric step it is an electric step yeah so very typical British layout. So we've got a four seat dinette with four proper three point seat belted travelling seats. A roof mounted fan which will give you a bit of airflow and also suck air out for uh, cooking. Good kitchen, under counter fridge freezer, runs off gas if you're not hooked up, mains electric if you are hooked up, 12 volt off the engine alternator when you're driving. Three gas burner hob with a combination oven and grill, high level big storage cupboards and an over cab bed that you'll get a couple of adults up there if you want if you're not using it as a bed it'll become storage and it will just push up like that during the day it's a ladder for getting into it there's a couple of infill cushions there and they will enable you to make this into a wider bed you can pull these out 
to there, use those infill cushions, make a wider bed, or just drop the table down and use that as a big single or a small double bed. Opening windows, big square cabinet work, practical, plenty of space, lighting all through. A little bit of damage on the table there, no doubt where something has fallen out of a cupboard onto it, but that's had a repair done. We might be able to wax it up, make it look a little bit better, but it doesn't really catch the eye. Curtain to come across there to separate front from back, so if you put the kids to bed over the cab, you've still got the back to yourself, or you can even leave that made up as a fixed bed if you're abroad and it's sunny, you're not sitting inside the van. Nice simple control panel over the cab with gauges for your fresh and waste water tanks and your lights and battery level. Truma fireplace, these things are absolutely bomb proof, they're great. So it'll run off mains if you're hooked up, gas if you're not hooked up or both at the same time. There's actually two separate heaters behind there, one runs off gas, one runs off electric. So uh, you're not going to find yourself let down if one breaks, the other one should still work. So nice and easy, but most of the time you'll be on mains hook up and if it's chilly you put that on. Now it's a fireplace, fire air will come out, but it's also got ducted warm air heating, um, so with a separate fan control to allow you to circulate the heat throughout the van if you uh, if you so desire it. Really good wardrobe with your loose fit carpets that are currently in it. And your rear table leg, digital TV aerial is in there as well. And then a nice spacious lounge. So this makes a big double bed, really big double bed. You sleep in transverse, it's not quite long enough to sleep lengthways. And then plenty of sort of surface here to put a TV. We could fit, it's had a bracket here, we could put a bracket there for it if you want. Or you can put a freestanding one on it. Again, big storage all the way around, big opening skylight and uh, storage underneath here as well. I like the fact they've left this open so you can decide what you want to do with it. So it's got a shelf, but just makes the van feel a lot more spacious than having that all sort of cupboarded in like they do. So there's a table for the back here as well. That just goes there uh, in, in the leg that we saw in the wardrobe. And then there's a simple wet room bathroom with a sink, a big storage cupboard, shower hose coming up there. Uh, vent for ventilation, set toilet, two drain points if you are using it, it helps your water drain. Another storage cupboard there and a shower curtain to uh, keep the keep keep it dry basically. So it's in lovely condition. It's having covered a tiny mileage. It's the special edition version, a lifestyle of a Swift Escape 686. Very very popular. 41995. It's a lot of family fun holidays to be had in one of these. But even if it's just for two, it's a layout that gives you a lot of flexibility. So give us a call, 01626 832 792. If we're busy out here doing videos, give us a call on the mobile, 07432 552. Check us on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. Come and see us at Newton Abbott in Devon, midway between Plymouth and Exeter, not far off the end of the M5, very, very easy to get to. Uh, or check us on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website and ask us about this lovely Swift lifestyle, 686 2014 at 41995. Thank you very much. Goodbye.